Hi everyone and welcome to my things to do where I like to show fun and easy decor DIYs as well as recipe DIYs. So stick around by hitting that subscribe button as well as the bell notification so YouTube lets you know when a new video has been posted. Also give this video a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Make this your thing to do too. Today my things to do is to make my marbled cube organizer. In the description box below I will leave a list of the supplies that I use. From Walmart I picked up my cubes, 13 in total, popsicle sticks, and paint. From Dollar Tree I used my marbled contact paper and foam core. And from Lowe's I got my door pulls and hinges. So let's go ahead and get started with the doors first. I laid out my wooden sticks along the top, bottom, and sides of the cubes, overlapping them, and then filling in with my remaining stick. In total, I used 13 popsicle sticks. Uh, I wanted to lay out the pattern just to see if this is how I wanted my door to look before gluing it together. And once I liked how all of that looked, it was then that I decided where I wanted the door pull to be. After I made the decision of how I wanted everything to look, then I didn't glue the door together. Now at this point, I'm still not gluing the door to the cube. I'm just gluing the door together. I chose to use my glue gun for this, but of course you can use any glue that you have on hand. You can use wood glue, even Elmer's glue. I chose my glue gun because I wanted to be able to pick up my door and continue working on it almost immediately. Now you want to be careful at this point that you're not gluing the door to the cube. Unless of course you want to paint everything at one time including that door and you want it to be the same color. If not, then just be careful. After I had my door pull glued on, then I turned it over and I glued the hinges to the inside of the door. I glued my hinges on because I wanted to be able to open and close the door later. The hinges do come with small screws that you can use, but this wood is so thin that I chose not to use those screws, but instead to use my hot glue and glue those in place. To reinforce the hinge, I went over the hinge again with that glue just to make sure it was reinforced. I checked to make sure that this is how I wanted it to look on the door. Once I was satisfied with that, I could go on with the rest of the project. I didn't glue the entire organizer together, but I did make my two sides. And for that, I used six cubes for each side. I took everything outside and started painting. I used a gray spray paint that I bought from Walmart, and I made sure to thoroughly spray the insides and outsides of each of my cubes. Thankfully, it was such a warm day outside that I could give it um, two coats of paint and not have to wait um, you know, minutes in between. Once I was done with one side, I could go back to the other and just give it another coat so that I had a full coverage on both the insides and outsides of each of my 13 cubes. I did use the entire can of spray paint. As you can see, it's really windy outside. I don't think I would have used all of the spray paint had it not been so windy. But I did give this look. My organizer was outside drying. I came inside to paint my doors. Now I used the apple barrel paint from Walmart. They're only about 50 cents each. And I love this paint because it only takes one coverage to cover the door. You don't have to give it a second coverage if you don't want to. 
I chose to use white and gray because those were the colors that's in the marbling on my contact paper. Now, hindsight, I probably should have painted those door pulls before gluing them onto my door. If you're going to do like I did, just be really careful when it comes time to paint those door pulls that you're not getting paint all on your door, unless of course you're just using one color. While these dried, it was time to get the organizer in and assemble the doors to them. I glued the other side of the hinges to the cube and used an extra cube to hold that door in place while the glue dried. Now be careful with this step because quite honestly I ended up gluing my doors shut so now I can't even use the hinges that I placed on there. I measured the sides of my organizer and cut the foam core and contact paper to fit and covered it. I then glued the foam core to the side of my cubes and turned it upside down just to help it with the setting the glue. For the insides of the cubes, I just simply cut the square of contact paper and fit that inside of each cube without using foam core. Of course you can use foam core, I just didn't feel like I needed to and I used my scissors to trim off any excess. I lined the bottom of all of my cubes, except the ones with the doors, and used my scissors, as I said, for any excess trim. And then it was time to put the whole thing together. Glued the middle cube between the two sides, and there I had my shelf. I then measured the top, cut my foam core and contact paper to fit the top of the organizer. Well, today, my things to do was to make my marbled cube organizer. Make it your thing to do too. And if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button.